Welcome, in front of me I have Huawei Nova Y70 and I'm gonna show you a few tricks you can use on this device. First I'm gonna show you how to change the system navigation type on this phone. So let's open the settings on our phone by tapping on the settings icon and in settings let's scroll down through the menu, find the option called system and updates and tap on it. And here we can see the system navigation option, tap on it. And in this menu we can change the navigation type. We have two options, uh, gestures and free key navigation. Uh, if you select gestures you will be able to navigate your system uh, or through, through your system by using the gestures on the screen. So let's select it. And now to, for example, go back uh, the page, you swipe from the edge of the screen to the middle of the screen, like this. It's from the both edges, basically left and right side. Okay. To go back to home screen, you swipe from the uh, bottom of the screen to the middle of the screen, like this. And to open the recent tasks, you simply swipe from the bottom and hold in the middle for a second or two, like this. And that's how you use the gestures. If you don't like the gestures, you can also enable the free key navigation. And if you enable this option, you will have three buttons at the bottom of the screen. The recent tasks button, the home button, and the back button. And you can also customize these settings for your free key navigation. So you can tap on the settings icon, or other option. And here we can select different combination of keys. For example, we can change the order of the keys. So the back button is gonna be on the right side. The recent tasks button is gonna be on the left. And we can also select uh, the option with the one more button. And this button basically allows you to open the notification panel by tapping on it, like this. You can also hide this bar if you don't want to see it by enab enabling this option, hide navigation keys. This will uh, bring this icon right here. You can tap on it and this will hide the bar. And to bring it back, simply swipe upwards from the bottom of the screen to bring it back like this. Okay. Now let's go back to the system navigation menu. And here we can also tap on the more option. And this option, rather here you can uh, enable the option called navigation dock. And what this option does, it allows you to navigate the system with this little circle on the screen. So if you enable it, it will bring this circle on the screen and you can navigate system with it. You can tap on the circle to go back like this. You can press and hold on it, then release it to go back to the home screen and to open the uh, recent tasks, you press and hold on it, swipe left or right, then release it to open the recent tasks. Quite simple. If you want to move the circle on the screen, you simply press on it and then swipe quickly to move it around like this. Okay, let's go back to the settings. And now I'm gonna show you how to use the multi-window feature. So make sure in, you are in settings, scroll down, tap on the accessibility fe and features right here and select the multi-window. And what this, uh, what this option does is basically it allows you to open the apps in the uh, split screen and pop up window mode. Also, it allows you to have this little shortcut or menu that you have shortcuts for the apps. So if you enable this menu, the multi-window dock, you'll be able to swipe from the edge of the screen. And once you see this icon right here, you can release it to open the, the dock. And on this dock, you have, as you can see, list of applications. And it allows you to open the applications and split screen, pop up window. And also basically you have a shortcut for applications if you don't want to go through the menu. To open the apps in the split screen, I'm gonna open, for example, music, open the menu like that. And now let's say I want to open the browser with the uh, music in the split screen. So we need to press and hold on the browser icon and then we can drag it to the screen, to the bottom or the top of the screen select the position you want it to be in, then release it, and it, it will open the apps in the uh, split screen, as you can see. We can change the ra ratio of the screen by grabbing on this bar in the middle and dragging it like this. We can also use the apps, of course, in the same, on the same, ta in the same time. 
and uh, if you want to close the uh, split screen mode you can simply grab this bar right here and drag it to the bottom or the top of the screen like this if you want to open the apps in the pop-up window mode simply open the menu and instead of pressing and holding on the icon simply tap on it so you can tap on the icon to open the pop-up windows you can resize the windows by grabbing it from the corner like this you can move the window by grabbing it uh, let me open it again like this by grabbing it by this line it, you, you have this bar right here you can grab by it and drag around the window like this to move it you can maximize it by tapping on this icon right here you can minimize it by tapping on this icon right here and of course close it by tapping on the X you can open multiple windows but as you can see they won't be uh, we can only have one at the same time on the screen so if you open multiple all, uh, some of them will be hidden in this menu right here and you can tap on the icon right here to switch between them you can also minimize all of them and if you minimize all of them and tap on this icon it will bring up this menu right here and here we can tap on them to bring, and bring them back on the screen or close them by tapping on the X button okay let's open the uh, dock again and if you want to find more apps you have only a couple of them right here on the list and you're looking for something else you can scroll all the way down and at the bottom you should see this icon right here to open the, the menu and here you can find more applications remember that not all of the applications support the uh, split screen so some of them might not work okay so that's about the multi window now let's go back to the settings mm, and I'm gonna show you how to use the one handed mode basically if you want to use your phone with only one hand and you find it difficult difficult rather you can make the screen uh, smaller a little bit to make it easier to use with only one hand and to enable this mode go to the accessibility features tap on one handed mode and here you can enable it or disable it by tapping on the switch and if you want to or rather if you enable it and want to use it you simply uh, swipe and depending on the gestures or other the navigation system if you have the free key navigation you basically press and hold on the uh, recent tasks icon and swipe left or right so press and hold oh no you don't press and hold you swipe okay so you just simply swipe left or right on the recent tasks like that depending on which side you want the screen to shrink to so if you want to a uh, screen to shrink to the left side you swipe left and if you want to uh, sh sh the screen to shrink to the right side you swipe right on the recent tasks button and once you open the 100 mode the screen will shrink as you can see and you can use your phone easier with only one hand and if you want to exit this mode simply tap on the dark area around it like that okay oh uh, I forgot to mention that if you using if you're using the gesture navigation so let's bring it uh, or rather turn it on so gesture navigation and you you want to open the one hand and mode you need to press and hold on the bottom of the screen and then swipe oh. like that or swipe and hold on the screen oh like this so basically you swipe for example right and hold to open it and if you want to have the screen on the left side you swipe the left and hold to open it okay now let's go back and now I'm gonna show you a couple uh, shortcuts and gestures basically so to go to the shortcuts and gestures go to settings open the accessibility features and here we have the shortcuts and gestures and right here we have a couple of uh, features that we can use as shortcuts and uh, basically utilities we can tap on the ultra sna snapshot and here we can uh, use the shortcut by pressing the volume down button twice and we can select 
what it does. We have take a snapshot. So if you select this, it will basically take a quick photo with the camera. If you select open the camera, it will open the camera up. And if you select off, it will be turned off. So for example, if you want to open the camera quickly when your screen is off, so select this option, turn off the screen, and we can press the uh, volume down button twice quickly to open the camera up like this. It's quite a shortcut, basically. You can also, like I said, take uh, select the take snapshot to take a picture. So if you turn off the screen, press the uh, button twice, it will take a picture like this. Okay. Next, in the shortcuts and gestures, we have the take screenshot. And here we can enable a couple features. We can enable and disable the knuckle screenshot and three, three finger screenshot. Knuckle screenshot basically allows you to take a screenshot on your phone by using your knuckle and knocking on the phone, uh, I believe, twice. Come on. Oh, this time it worked. Uh, you need to do it with the good timing. Oh, okay, this time I got it. So basically you can take a screenshot by knocking on your phone. Next option is free finger screenshot and it allows you to basically take a screenshot uh, by swiping three fingers down on the screen like this. Okay, that's about the screenshots. Next we have the record screen and here we can uh, record, basically enable or disable the option to record the screen by tapping or knocking with two fingers on the screen. Oh. See, and it's gonna open the screen recording and you can record the screen with that quite uh, decent shortcut. And next we have wake screen and this option allows you to basically wake up the screen when you lift it, if you enable this option. So if your screen is turned off, you can lift the phone to wake, up, wake it up. And at the bottom we have a mute ringtone reduce volume and these options allow you to basically uh, mute or reduce the volume on your phone by performing action like flipping it. So if you enable a flip to mute the ringtone, basically you need to flip it face down and it will mute the ringtone, basically mute the call. And if you enable rise to reduce volume, you can uh, lift the phone up and it will reduce the volume of the ringtone. Okay. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.